Hello guys, uh, my name is Quenda Lima and uh, I actually teach Kizomba and this it's, uh, it's based on Kizomba but I have my own style which uh, my own line of dancing, my own style of dancing but it's still with the Kizomba base I, um, my background, it's a, it's a huge long story but in the dance uh, background I, I start dancing with five five years old um, and uh, teaching Kizomba I start teaching my 20 21 years old uh, but I've been dancing Kizomba since uh, nine nine years old so Kizomba not Pasada because in my country we call Pasada in Cape Verde We call Pasada instead of Kizomba, um, and I think um, Kizomba it's uh, it's getting so popular. But uh, we we do have to be careful because we can be like salsa. It's true. It can be like salsa. People fighting each other, and there is no point for that because there is space for everybody. And um, but uh, I'm sure that Kizomba is going to spread around the whole world and uh, the USA, I think so, I hope. Uh, but in the same time, it make, me, it make me sad to see that it spread in the wrong way. What I mean with that, it's, uh, uh, we all know that people, uh, teachers and students, they fighting each other which with no reason because if you're confident with your work you don't need to to to, to fear the other so this is a message that I let people the students and the teachers you don't need to fight you don't need to be scared because it's your work is the way you interpret the dance and please respect any steps and uh, respect the rhythm because uh, all of us we work hard for that and the other thing, uh, what I can tell you guys is um, about, uh, yeah, I do Kizomba, but I have different kind of dance that I, I enjoy as well teaching, which is my, um, the traditional dance from my country, Cape Verde, um, which is, is my language, because dance for me is a language. And my mother language for me, it's, uh, uh, in the dance uh, environment is a traditional dance from Cape Verde. So, uh, Kizomba it's another language, uh, uh, and I have other language which is contemporary dance. I I do Afro contemporary dance as well. Uh, in my way to interpret um, Afro contemporary dance, and uh, I have my own project which is the Kaizen dance, which is. Um, uh, kind of, um, I don't like to call therapy dance, dance therapy, because uh, I think it's, um, it's, not to, it's not about therapy, it's more, more than that. It's allowed people to be themselves, allowed people to block, allowed people to, to, to learn again to be human, because we, we are learning to be something else. We are not learning to be human. We we, we are forgetting our uh, feelings, our emotion, our everything we bring with us. And that kaizen dance, it's a, it's a helping people to unblock those things and to be happy and to be themselves with simple moves. And uh, let me see other things. Um, how would um, how would you advise? Um, Kizomba dancers, how could they learn to dance better? I advise them to be themselves always because we uh, people they focus in outside instead of focus in inside themselves. And when you focus in w w what is uh, around you, surround you, you're not allowed yourself to be yourself. You're not allowed you to feel what you're supposed to feel. So Kizomba, it's a dance, 
it's about feeling, it's about uh, sharing. So if you're not able to do that, you cannot not be a good dancer. For me, a good dancer is a dancer who is allowed themselves to be himself. He's allowed himself to be himself. That's for me, it's a good dancer. And, and dance with your heart and give everything you have. Tell the stories about your life with your feet, with your arms, with your fingers, with your eyes, with your smile. That's for me, it's a dancer. Thank you, Gwenda. You're welcome. Thank you so much.